Hi everybody, I'm back again. And I know typically this is a vape channel, but I don't have a vape to review today. I haven't bought anything new lately. So, I did buy this though. It's not a vape. <laughs> and if you've ever seen one of these, you already know what it is. It's an expandable flashlight stun baton. And if you click the tail cap button, this little green light comes on. Hit the second button. It activates the flashlight. It's got a couple of different settings here. <laughs> if I can get it to work. Okay, you got the flashlight mode there. It's got a couple of different brightness levels. Then you got your strobe. And then you got the SOS mode. Hit the button again, and the red light comes on. That means the taser is activated. To activate the taser, you push this button. And it delivers a wallop. Uh, and no, please don't put in the comments to zap myself with it because I'm not going to do that. Push the button again and it goes back to flashlight mode. Turn it off by hitting the tail cap button. It takes two 18650 batteries. And you can access those by re unscrewing the, the tail cap. And 18650 batteries that are typically used in vapes have a flat top on it like this. This particular 18650 battery has a little nipple on the top of it, if you can see that. But uh, it comes with a charger that you can plug into an AC outlet, and it has a little port there to plug it in. Um, it says it takes eight to ten hours to charge the batteries if you plug it in that way. I have an external charger, so I charge them quicker by taking the batteries out and putting them in the charger. And uh, I don't know what the actual life is on these particular batteries with this type of device. I imagine with just the flashlight alone it would probably last quite a while. Uh, if you continuously use the taser, it would probably kill the batteries a lot quicker. But I imagine you can get probably a good 30 or 40 zaps out of this thing if you had <laughs> to. Uh, as a security officer, this would be a perfect option for some of my night watch duties. Um, not that I expect anybody to jump me or give me any problems to use it as a weapon, but the flashlight alone is bright enough. And typically if you get somebody who gets up in your face and wants to challenge you, just activating the taser on this thing and giving it a quick zap would be enough to make somebody back off, even if you don't touch them with it. <laughs> uh, I've talked to a few people that have been tased with one of these whether they were just playing around doing it on themselves or whatever uh, they said it hurts it's it's very painful it's not enough to knock somebody down to the ground but I feel if you give somebody a good zap with this in the shoulder or the thigh or whatever it's gonna make them back off and that's that's all I want I'm too old to fight people man you know back in my younger days you know <laughs> it was a different story this here, and you've got the baton here. You can use it in the short level here for close quarter contact. And then you got you can extend it for a little longer reach, and uh, it gives it a few extra inches. Man, I like it. it. Has a little hand strap here. I don't know how durable this thing would be in a real life situation. I would imagine if somebody really yanked on this thing hard enough and got it out of my hand, this little string here would break. Uh, it also has a little metal belt clip here that doesn't look very sturdy. I imagine that over time this would probably weaken and break, snap off. But other than that, it's a good weapon. I, I, uh, I have a little flashlight holster that's open-ended on the bottom, and it's you know, stretchable. So this thing fits right down in there. So if I had to carry this on my belt, I would probably use that rather than the included hand strap or a belt clip. But man, this thing feels great in my hand. It's really good and balanced. It's <laughs> this thing would uh, would definitely hurt if you if you got hit with it. And uh, typically in my job, you know, most of the places where I work are kind of laid back. You know, I don't think I would actually have to use that as a weapon. Um, I've only been challenged a few times uh, working in shopping centers. 
And I had, actually had a guy park a motorcycle on a sidewalk one day, and when I told him he couldn't park his motorcycle on the sidewalk, he got a little belligerent, and he asked me what I would do if he didn't move it. And I said, well, I'd probably have to tow it. And he goes, I'll kick your ass before the tow truck gets here. <laughs> if I had this that day, he wouldn't have even had the chance to say that. Because as soon as he started walking towards me with his fist balled up, he would have got zapped. <laughs> oh, boy. I tell you the nerve of some people. I'm just out here trying to do my job. And they're going to threaten me, even though they know they're wrong. Unbelievable. So, what do you all think about tasers? Do you think they're effective tool for self-defense. I know I would prefer a handgun on my hip. People are less likely to get in your face if you got one of those on your hip. And if they do get in your face while you're armed, they've got some serious mental issues. Because <laughs> I would never approach somebody that's got a gun on their hip and say, I'm going to kick your ass. Because I'd probably get a gun pointed right in my face. You know. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, you meet a lot of interesting people in this line of work. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is a vape channel, so, of course, I'm going to have to hit one. Oh, that's a vapor, man. One more time. Y'all have a good one. Vape long and vape strong.